This is the sequel to a Disillusion. Well, it's the prequel technically, but um, it's not. It's not finished, so I, I don't know what we expect to see. This. I think everything is subject to change, actually. But I don't know. It looked interesting to play. So we have a mouse cursor now. So I think I can just hit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. This is like, uh, this is everything that happened in the prequel. Right. Or the sequel, technically, right? I don't even know. <sighs> it seems you and I have an important job once again. We are the same, you and I. We can talk more after you meet my companion. She will bring you to me. You are emerging from the water. Whoa. Whoa, it's got like lighting and everything. What? This is free? Do I click on you to talk? No, you just don't talk, do you? Okay. Is that a 3D model? What? Is this made in RPG Maker? I don't even know. I'd be shocked if it was. Can I not talk to anybody because I'm in pacifist mode? Or is there a different button? Mm -hmm. Oh. Take that door up there to move into a new location. Just use space. Okay, Z is to talk to people. I can't believe I just guessed that. You are here. This is nice to see. Where am I? Uh, a vast underground labyrinth. An in-between for us all. Many doors lead to different surfaces. But a present, a single door, leads to a false exit. You are here to correct this. Do you know me? You are here to aid in the erection of a great tower. A tower that will bring us closer to the edge of a long journey. Please seek Melfony. Melfom. Melfomny. She was tasked with aiding you. Okay. Alright, they just they just do nothing. <laughs> there is stuff over here, right? What's over here? Oh, nothing. Okay, that's just a respawn. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, let's see. Let's go. Hmm. Take that door up there to move to a new location. Just use space. Is this like a 3D door? Oh, yeah, it is. It's like a 3D door. Full on. Alright. Memories are a funny thing. You'll find him quite often, too. You see, these spaces are limited. You can't run about willy-nilly, so you gotta use your noggin and analyze the scene a bit. Go ahead, give it a go. Oh, is it like a point-and-click game? Oh, how about that, huh? I love point-and-click games. Oh, my God. Oh, I love this. Just a bush. Nothing hidden in it, either. A large door. Are you ready to move on? No. Okay, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Before I let you go, let's be clear. It's important to remember your controls, so let's look at them once again. Alright. Pitch control. C or X. Activate. Space. Key items. Shift. Back button. Tab. Light attack. F. Heavy attack. G. Movement. Inventory. I. Wait. If you're a pacifist, wait, can, is there like a real fighting thing? Okay, oh. Hi. Behind me lies a dangerous foe. Not to worry though, these foes only move and act in a rhythm with you. 
If you take a step, so will the foe. Consider your movements an exchange of turns. You may also meet others who will provide you with helpful bells. Ringing these will call forth the memory of said friend, aiding you in combat. They will lie within your inventory. Lastly, F key is a light attack. G is a heavy attack. These will only work if an enemy is next to you. I will open your inventory. And please don't forget, tab is your back button. Why don't you try using my aid? It's like casting a powerful spell. Dealt two damage to all enemies. Oh. You struck the cute little thing. Cute little thing slain. Okay. Whoa, wait, I can look up and down? Whoa! I didn't know that. What? That's insane. Alright. Are you, uh... No. Huh. Well, everything's blocked, so I guess all I could do is walk through this door. Oh. Coffins floating amongst lotus plants. I feel rude entering the dreams and memories of strangers. They are deeply personal after all. I wouldn't want someone poking around my thoughts, even long after I'm gone. Besides, it's difficult to discern what is and isn't fantasies. I'm sure you know that too well. I do. You're not alone in feeling that, Golem. Everyone here is disconnected, just like how you were. Wait a minute, is this a sequel? Or a prequel? We're building a tower, but I'm Golem. That's, that's from the last game. I find myself hating fantasy. Anything that gives someone a delusion of reality isn't good. It's an irrational hatred, perhaps. Anything that brings mostly happiness isn't a bad thing to be focused on, I suppose. Regardless, we need to find these items. Ones that bring people the most happiness. It might be best if we split up the search. I'll leave wandering the Nar Naraka to you, okay? My name is Melfalm, by the way. Melfomony. Melfom? Melpomny. Melpomen. Mel... I don't know. You guys need to tell me in the comments how I say that. Do your best. I won't be far. Obtain Mel's aid. Whoa. This is quite a strange game so far. This is, gotta, this is a cannot be RPG maker. There's absolutely no way. <laughs> Are you an enemy? is dangerous realm this one please accept aid you found a magic sword <gasps> magic sword inventory no i thought it was i for inventory but now it's not i mean all right a statue can be seen across the water Oh. Oh, okay. Uh this please. Okay. Well, I guess that's how you save. I'm not really sure. This door will remain locked till all that is required is gathered. Okay. Ooh. What are you? Hello, my friend. Are you lacking companions? May I interest you in your very own cherub to care for? I suppose you may let it die if you do desire, but please take care of it. As you travel, the cherub will grow hungry. Please don't forget to feed her. You can interact with her with your item storages, much like you would with warp orbs. Did I just get my own cat? Oh. 
Uh, basic cherub food. Cherub orb. Okay. How do I know if it's hungry or not? Oh! <laughs> Hi! What?! Gamble? <laughs> what is happening? How do I give you more love? No. I guess feed. It does not seem hungry right now. Alright, well. <laughs> I guess we have our own little thing now. Where are we? <laughs> we were at a completely different location earlier. This is this hits different, man. This is hits so much different from the other game. There's something up there. Is this like a graveyard? This is so eerie. <laughs> so far. The vibe in this game, this feels like a much, much darker version of the last game we played. <gasps> we went up a level. Oh my gosh. That's insane. We went up two whole levels. All right, let's explore this bottom area, I guess, first. Hello. You look sad. <laughs> um, okay. Are you sad? The Naraka is completely unchained and free-flowing. Predicting where you may end up is impossible. However, there are locations kept secret that you may only reach with the help of others. Okay. <laughs> this is so... <gasps> Cut! Cut! He's back! I gotta get up. Wait. What are you... Excuse me? Screw the meat realm. It's time to jack in. Grr, I'm digitalized. <laughs> what the f- Cat! Mao, you smell like trouble. You up to something, stinker? I'm looking for personal items that make people happy. Ah, so you're friends with Mel, yeah? She ain't such a bad girl. Don't let no one tell ya otherwise. Lots of folks hate Melfin. Alphony. Think she's bad. All she's all bad luck and such. They wouldn't be wrong. I think she's trying to sort herself out. Why do people hate her? You ain't heard of the nine muses, man. Melphine is the saddest case out of all of them. She's the muse of tragedy, you know, the one who inspires all the sad songs and poems. Get going. I'm getting all teary thinking about this stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> What? Whoa! Hello. Did you know that plants use their own internet with the use of fungus? Some plants use it to communicate and share things amongst themselves. But just like the internet, hackers exist and can hack other plants via hormones. It really shows the true nature of walnut trees. Wow. This is a graveyard. <laughs> I just realized that. Okay. Very interesting so far. Lots of, like, lore that I didn't get in the first game. But maybe it's because I was lazy and missed them? I'm not completely sure. But that's okay. Okay. And I'm going to turn around. <laughs> that's a dead end. Uh, 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 uh. What are you? Hello. After what point does the dirt crust become near impossible to scrub from a homeless individual's skin? I was never one to enjoy showering, and I did spend many days of time outside. I ask because I desire that crust, a protective layer gifted to me from the earth. Yet I never reached such a point. I could no longer stand my own smell, yet I towered over the world, free of care. Lots of, like, return to nature type dialogues are happening aren't have it happening happening having fuck, having right now oh my gosh i'm so out of it <laughs> wait that was the that was the ramp right there we go okay so door is there but i want to look at everything else first 
My mind's being trampled smooth. Tired of it. Stop walking all over me and tell me what to do. I'm not stupid. I've been so down lately. I like to take peeks at other people's memories scattered throughout the halls. Pretend they are my own. I heard a rumor of people living with these memories. Sounds really comfy, actually. Though they say if you were to stay with them for too long, your past memories will leave you slowly, like a tree losing all its leaves. Doesn't sound that bad, but it's kind of scary to forget who I am. Okay. Are you mourning somebody? Here, I, I won't stand in your way. You're pretty low to the ground, huh? Well, that ain't a bad thing. Like a dash of... I don't know how to say that. I think that's a dog breed. Low to the ground, sniffing goodies. You make a th good third stringer on the Dashman team. Okay. I thought you were mourning somebody. Like, I don't know why you'd be standing in front of a grave. She seems to be qu in quite the rush. <laughs> yo, yo, this goes hard, though. Dance! Dance! Yeah! Hey there, friend. I consider myself quite the explorer. During my intensive travels, I diligently mapped out numerous areas of Narakura. If you're interested, I can assist you in reaching specific destinations. Why are you driving so much? Well, I've heard that there's continuous movements I could actually slow down the detrimental effects of the dark Narakura. So, in a way, I'm somewhat comparable to a shark, constantly in motion striving to evade the clutches of death. Or in this scenario, perhaps the grasp of life. It's worth nothing that cold temperatures can actually speed up the effects too. I have yet to venture in the deeper circles of the Naraka. Have you seen anything interesting recently? You! It seems you're bound by something. I wish I knew how you pulled it off. Running does the get exhausting. Where can you take me? Oh. I want to stay at the graveyard for now. Oh, this is not where I wanted to be. Take me back. What are you? Hmm. <laughs> okay, where am I? Oh, there are warp orbs scattered all over. Have you found any? No, they're supposed to make it simpler to navigate the Naraka. Golem, you have allies all over who are doing their best to support you. So even if you feel lost or hopeless, please remember that you are not alone in this. Thank you. Received one potion. <laughs> okay. Hi. Nagora. Yeah, yeah, I know about that. Agora Chan? No, the Agora was being in a place hosted by three sisters. They like to share sometimes misleading and detrimental advice. Wait, so how's our how's our cherub doing? Oh. Doesn't really need food. Okay. Okay then. Okay, it's kind of annoying. Every time I do something I get teleported somewhere else. Maybe that's a bug, I don't know. Oh, Ow! Cutely the thing slain. Alright. Let's see here. I think this is more of a maze now, isn't it? What are you? The once were nine muses. The world was no stage play for our time. It has been heavily debated if man has ever truly been independent. Maybe their whims and desire are just planted plot lines for the entertainment of others. Okay. Hi. I wish to be warm, so I simply imitate those I cherish and look up to. The sun. There is actually a true, honest, warm sun around. I've stumbled into it before. Uh, whoa. 
This is surreal. Seems that we've started an orchestra of some type, I guess. I <laughs> This 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 feels like this feels like a sequel to LSD Dream Emulator, man. It really does. But there's something clearly deeper going on here than LSD Dream Emulator. That scared me! What is the sound of one hand clapping? I don't need an answer from you. I simply want you to contemplate the question. Received one potion. Uh, thanks, bud. <laughs> Hello? Whoa, oh, oh, okay. You seem safe. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. What's obvious, obvious is the true nature of truth, though recovered, remains grossly overestimated. What is real is the infinite cohesion of the mind in the world. Those who seek truth and those who don't are not that different. Awareness is a reality settled within the competence of a terrenial creature. To exist and to not think, to know and to never learn, that is the absolute. For life and death not know one another. Life is one where death is not. Every question is an answer, but an answer is only a memory. Monuments are our own memories. Memories are our loved ones. A memory of power, a memory of solitude. Change the world into a memory of your own. Or be within a world with, and leave yourself behind. All the answers lie beneath the creatures that stand. All the creatures lie like only a creature can. That is the truth. What is this game? All right, are you an enemy? Okay, no. <laughs> I'm the dark, evil, shape-shifting tweaker. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Oh, we're back here. I think, I think this is the same area where we were last time, right? I don't think so, actually. No, it doesn't feel like the same area. Well. Oh, wait. Is the stairs here? Oh. No, it's not. All right. I am particularly unmotivated, but there is a sort of thing that gets everyone I know motivated. Stuff and things. We got something we don't want to want, and want something we don't want get. Wanting sucks. I'm just a big greedy idiot. Yeah, I feel that. Hello, I've seen you around this game a lot. You know, darling, the Latin word of for passion is passio. It's quite fitting, really. After all, passion is what drives the heart, what ignites the soul. It's what sets a performer like myself apart from someone like, well, you. Passion, in its essence, means to suffer for what you love. But for someone like me, suffering is a price worth paying for artistry. Passion is what sets us apart from the mundane, the ordinary. It is the fire that burns within, the craving to be adored, esteemed and loved. All by an audience that I can't get enough of our brilliance. Oh, I'm in heaven. Oh. Oh, I'm in heaven. Oh. <laughs> oh, great. Well, all the floors loaded in at once. 
actually, you know, I want to check out this place a little bit. I don't, I'm kind of afraid. To, all right, can't go that way. I'm kind of afraid to talk to anybody because I feel like it's just going to teleport me somewhere. Oh, I don't want to go in that room. That's freaky. Well, all right. You know, I think I think this is a good stopping point. <laughs> it's, it's been kind of insane. I think, you know, I'm pretty tired today, and I just wanted to check this thing out. I'll definitely play more of it, though. Just, this is crazy. Well, I need to save. How do I save? Well, I don't know. Oh. Hi. Being a ghost would be quite interesting, don't you think? How dead people do it? Maybe they have a strong will. I came across a story about people being recruited by demons. I can't help but wonder if there's any connection. Are ghosts simply manifestations of demons? I intend to delve deeper into this matter. And please do let me know if you come across anything. Is this, like, saved? I... <gasps> Wayne! That's from Hylix! This is no coincidence. A void traveler. I'm not sure what that is, but yes, it seems there is a space considered a void. Though it is not actually a void, I suppose I've not seen it. Okay, I mean, alright. I, you know what, I think I'm going to just exit, because I technically haven't really made any progress in the game, and hopefully it saved. <laughs> I'm not really sure, so uh, there's the dark, twisted tweaker. Uh, anyway, so... Yeah, have a good night. Yeah.